This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight. Hello, everybody. There is Steve Kravitz for the second time because I was recording this and all of a sudden I realized all we had was my GabNet logo on screen. Right. And I was going, oh, God, did I do that? Did I do that? I hate Well, myself. nobody else to blame. Well, you know what? It's just that I take these goddamn pills. That, what pills? Uh, they're, they're called pregabalin, and it's for my neuropathy. Right, I take that. And you take that, too. But you don't have to go through stuff where you have to do this kind of process. No. All right? No, not at all. So everything's got to be in the right place at the right time and so on. And I'm just a little loopy. Do you know? Does it make you loopy at all? No, not at all. I'm born loopy. Oh, you're born loopy. Okay. So I, I then uh, suddenly realized after interviewing him for 10 minutes that, you know, I haven't been recording it. So I'm sorry. This is, not the, this is not the first time this has happened with us. This is about the second time. Yeah. It's because of the way things are set up. Anyway, I probably should just do them like I always do them and then I won't, it, won't, it will seem natural to me, you know. Anything, right now in my life, anything that changes, any process that changes, right, causes me a series of problems. Like I used to do all my Zoom shows over on my other machine here, and then it stopped doing Zoom, so I start doing it on this machine, and when I do shows on this machine, it takes me forever to figure out where everything is after the show is over. I mean, it's, it's you know, so I'm, I'm, I should give up, shouldn't I? It's time for no. me to it's time for me to pack pack it up and go home. Wait no, it's not time. It's not time yet. Wait a minute. I am home. See? That's right. That isn't even real. So uh, we were we were talking. We had a nice discussion going on how f much fun earthquakes were. Well, for you they were fun. Well, you know why it was fun for me because I grew up with them. You didn't. Right. You no. Know, you come out to California, you hit your first earthquake, and you're panicking. You got little spots in your pants. You know? <laughs> but yet, yet if I said, uh, oh, my God, I, I, this is my first snowstorm here in New York. How do I negotiate this? You would go, easy peasy. I'm from Massachusetts. Right. I know how to handle snowstorms. Right. right, right. So, I mean, it's all where you were born, where you live, what the climatological screw-ups and so on were. And you're, you know, so I, I, I am just so happy that I uh, uh, grew up in California and I could enjoy uh, what was uh, the most wonderful thing in the world, which were, yes, earthquakes. 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 You know, it, it, with earthquakes in California, if you're from California, uh, the next day after the earthquake, what's everybody talking about? Did you feel it last night? Right, right. You know, like, have you ever, did, when you were in California, did you ever sleep through an earthquake? No. I did. Yeah. You're just used to that. If it isn't above a certain, you know, Richter scale or whatever, you don't wake up. But, well, there was one that hit, when I lived in Los Angeles, there was one that hit. And it was a funny thing. Everybody I know who was in bed with their girlfriends or wives or whatever, we all rolled on top of them to shield them from whatever was gonna fall. Oh, really? And none of us, yeah, we all did it automatically, like it was a primal thing. Well, I, uh, the night after the Loma Prieta, which was the big one that decimated the neighborhood where I lived, um, it, it was, I, I always keep talking about it, that we, I had the greatest sex I ever had. And I asked a, 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 a some kind of psychiatrist or somebody later on, in, 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 a few years later, uh, I related this story about how we went back to my apartment and we just had this uh, hot monkey sex. Jeez, you know, just amazing. 
And he said, that's a common story. He said, people, because we're human beings, we have a desire to survive and to survive right. and make our species survive. Right. And our automatic instinct in, in, a, in a thing like that is to have sex. So, you know, so that, you know, the Schwarzman uh, line of uh, whatever gene uh, genealogy continues, right? Right. And so he said, that's why it was so good. So I have to move. Because before I get laid well, again. Well, I, either that or I was thinking of starting a, a tour for couples uh, who want to have the best sex they ever had, and we go to various parts of the world where there are big tragedies happening. You know? <laughs> and and then, then we all can, like, you know, <laughs> screw like bunnies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... Uh, but it, it, it was that he said it was definitely that it's he says it's commonly reported that and blah blah blah. So, what the hell, you know, terrific. So, um, uh, I, uh, I, I, what do you remember about the Loma Prieta quake? You were probably pooping in your pants, probably. right? No, I was a candlestick. Oh, you, oh, yes, of course, they had the World Series out there. I was at the World Series, yeah. And what happened? And I remember I was sitting with Gonzo. Mm -hmm. Gonzo was a comic, John, comic folks. Yeah, John Means. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were under this overpass. We were underneath this the seatings that were there were seats above us. Right, it was you know, tiered. Was, tiered. Yeah, it, it's tufts of uh, cement, cement tufts. Like as the building shook, the 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 the, the of hanging above us, you could see tufts of cement smoke. And Gonzo turned to me and he put his hand on my knee and said, well, this is it. Really? It, yeah. And nobody got hurt. There were 60,000 people at Candlestick and nobody got hurt. Right. There was a lot of, uh, you know, everything got loose. What, what's amazing is, you know, when you have a shake like that, stuff that's up above you, like you were had, you had, you, it's tiered, you know, and that's right. one of the tiers above you. Uh, if those tears even have so much as a screw loose, that screw could come, come down, down and hit you and kill you. Right, right. So it's amazing nobody got hurt. Right, and we were in the middle of the uh, section, so we couldn't have got out if something was to happen anyway, because we couldn't go left, we couldn't go right. Right, so you just had to sit there and hope that you were alive after the shake was over. Right, so right. That right. shake was about 45 seconds. So, yeah, it was it was it was it was a bit scary. See, folks, in earthquakes, it isn't it isn't only the intensity of the shake, like the Richter scale, but it's how long that shake exists. Like right, it, and also the aftershocks. The aftershocks really get to me. Well, they no, they, we'll get to the aftershocks in a moment. That's our after okay. show here. Uh, no, but what happens is is that okay? Imagine that there's a five second shake. Okay, and right. it's just as, it's a, you know, 6 1 on the Richter scale, let's just say. All right? But that five seconds is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. But if you go for 45 seconds with that, then you're going to have some real destruction because it's right. loosening everything and it's just shaking right. constantly. And the scary part about any earthquake is when's it going to stop? Right. You know, because they have, always have this height and this, you, you want to know where the crescendo is. Right. And then it comes down the other side and you go, Phew. wow. Right, then it's over. And then, then the, the, it's the, the aftershocks really mess with you. Well, there are, there are hundreds and hundreds of aftershocks, some of which you never felt. Right. And then some of which you did. There were some that were like five ones on the Richter right. scale. Right. Um, and... Uh, those kind of scare you because again, they start up and they go up like this, and you you're just waiting for them to come down that other side. Right, you know? right, and exactly. Usually the aftershocks are never as heavy as the original. But no, but they they they. It's like when is this going to stop already? You know, they always said, where, "Where's the safest place to be in an earthquake?" Do, do you ever hear that? Some place where you can say, "What was that?" Well, probably, probably where you can say, "Gee, the weather's nice here in Brazil," but right. <laughs> you know, I mean, 
Uh, no, the 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 thing that uh, that we uh, keep uh, uh, thinking. What was what did I? What was I going for? All of a sudden, the safest place to be. Oh, the safe, uh, safest place to be. They say is under a door jam. Right, that's what they say. Although I think one person in the Loma Prieta got killed standing in a door jam. So that, that's bullshit, you know? Right. Absolute, right. absolute pucky. Um, I just came up with a new word. Absolute pucky. Pucky, pucky. I like that. I'm going to keep using that. But it, 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 it's really, you know, it's really, it's really scary. It, it's scary because you don't know when it's going to end. You know, right. and, and also because you also went through the first one a day earlier right. or something like that. You're right. just waiting for that whole thing to happen again. Right. Uh, exactly. Yeah. That's why the aftershocks are so scary. But they were pretty minor, though, many of them that you would feel. Yeah, many of them. But, you know, some of them, like you said, were like five point, you know, three, five point four. Well, on the Richter scale, and that, that, that shakes you up. If you can imagine this, folks, and, and you should imagine it, uh, y you have gone through a major earthquake, and now there are all these little aftershocks, and they're happening right. for days, weeks afterwards, you know. Some of them you don't even feel. Others, you do. Right. To live with that after an earthquake is very damaging to the mind. Oh, no kidding. You know, because... When it starts up, you go. When's the next one? Right. You know. Right. And and you don't want a next one. Right. Uh, thing. Other thing I remembered, and this is amazing. I we we woke up the next morning in my bedroom in the in the in the in the uh, marina, and all of a sudden there there were a lot of I heard a lot of people outside. Suddenly. Everybody from around the Bay Area was coming into the marina to see the damage. Right. They finally, right. they finally had to get cops to get everybody out of the area saying, come on, what are you doing coming down here? These buildings are falling down. You could get killed. Get out of here. You know. But at that point, it was like a street fair out there. You know. And I got up and I looked out and here are all these people. And then the other thing that just absolutely made me gasp it was the most beautiful morning I had ever seen in San Francisco. The weather, Is that right? the weather was perfect. And uh, I asked somebody what happened during the you know the 1906 earthquake, you know, which was the one that destroyed. Actually, the earthquake didn't destroy San Francisco. The fire did. The fire did. Yeah, because the fire mains were all fucked up, and you know. Right. Um, and they said that the day after that earthquake. They said the same thing. It was just a gloriously beautiful day. I don't know why that happens. I, I don't remember that. I can't see how that would have anything to do with earthquakes. Maybe it's just that you survive something. And, oh, it's glorious, you know. Right. Man, probably. probably yeah. That's probably it because you survived it. And my, you know? Yeah, my girlfriend, who I thought would be a strength, uh, big, in something like this, I figured she would be the person of great strength. Oh, let's she do would this. Be the rock. And let's do the, yeah. And and I would be the one going, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Right. No, I was a guy who was like a rock. I, I was just, you know, we have to do this. And now we have to go across the bridge and go see my business manager and get out of here. Maybe some more earthquakes. We don't want to be in the building if it shakes and falls. And, uh, and uh, she's panicking all the way. And I'm just going, oh, well, don't worry. We'll get across the bridge, you know. She says, but suppose there's another earthquake while we're on the bridge. I said, it only takes a minute and a half to drive across the bridge. Right. Okay. I knew that because I had crossed that bridge I don't know how many times, right? Right. And we got across the bridge when we got to Marin County. But, I mean, it was... And then we went back to the place, and that's when we had our what I call our rubble fuck. Yeah, so. Which is the most glorious thing you can do, folks. I'm going to start Bennett Tours. We're going to go to places that just had a big uh, earthquake or something like that. And uh, you can then go have sex there. It's is that right? Be, yeah, it's going to be a great tour. It's going to be a great tour. Yeah. 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 Oh, Let's hey. What? Let's go see the rubble. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you and know. And then fuck like bunnies. 
I, I, do, do you ever see this? Like you see on television someplace like in Afghanistan got hit with an earthquake and all this right. all this rubble and so on. Uh, and, you, and you say to yourself, well, why didn't they build those houses better? <laughs> you know? Because the reason we didn't have more damage in San Francisco is because all these things, all these buildings were built after the first earthquake. Right. The one in 1906, right. first earthquake. The largest earthquake, 1906. Um, and so they were built to kind of stand. Now they're they right. built, now they've been retrofitted on what they call rolling foundations. Are you aware of what rolling foundations are? Yeah. They build yeah, them. Know, literally, the foundations are on kind of like wheels. Right. So that if there's an earthquake, it just goes back and forth with the earthquake. The problem is if you have a, something rigidly anchored to the ground, it doesn't have the ability to sway. And you right. Need that, right. If you have that ability to sway, you'd be okay. So that's everything you want to know about earthquakes. What do you What do you get out there in Connecticut? In uh, in uh, uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Oh boy, I'm out of it. Uh, what do, uh, Massachusetts? Where do you uh, What do you get we out there? We get blizzards. Blizzards, but you you know how to deal with blizzards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stay inside. Yeah, but you don't know. And of course, with with uh, earthquakes, it's get outside. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, uh, I think you know, if I hit a blizzard, I think I would panic. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, you know, I'm not used to them. I'm not. I'm not used to snow. In fact, this year I'm not used to snow at all. The last couple of years we haven't had any here in New York. Right. Right. Let's hope we don't have any more this year. Yeah. Well, I like. You know what I like about a good snowstorm is right after it drops. Right. And it's kind of like everything's soundproof. Do you you know you know what I'm talking about? I know what you mean. I could shout, "Hey, Steve," and it wouldn't get past my mouth. You know. Right. It's right. It's like uh, a, it's like a, a absorbing acoustics. Yeah. Yeah. And and it also does one other thing. It takes a city like New York. Right, and it turns it into a winter wonderland. It turns That's into right. a, everything that was ugly about New York is no longer ugly. No, uh, until of course the next day, when everybody's been driving over it, and the sun right, and the is, snow is now black. And it's now gray, actually, or black in some areas, and and there are puddles, and then it becomes slushy. Then it becomes right. so ugly you don't even want to go out. Right, right. Yeah. But you don't have to shovel. No. I have to shovel the snow. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, re you're, you're required to by law, aren't you? Right, right. And they won't deliver the mail if you don't shovel. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're living in a house, so you have to, like, what, shovel the... Uh, the path the up driveway. to the, the driveway. Wow. And then, the, and then the walkway. God, watch out for yourself because more people have heart attacks shoveling snow. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, they really, they do. My my uncle died shoveling sh snow. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. He had a heart attack. You know. I take a lot of breaks. Huh? You take a lot of breaks? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, how hard is it? How long does it take you to do the whole driveway? See, I, don't, three hours. Yeah, I don't know these things. I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to use a snow shovel, okay? Yes, you would. Well, I mean, I think I'd learn fast, but I've never yeah, had. Yeah, you're not an idiot. Come I, ne on. I never had to use a snow shovel. Um, the only thing I used to have when I lived in snow areas, like I lived in Reno, is the thing that scrapes the ice off your windshield. Right. <laughs> you know, that thing. Uh, I had to do that this morning. Really? Was that yeah. was that cold up there? Yeah, in the morning. Wow. You know, don't forget I have to be to work at six a.m. Oh yes, yes. So I've been up since four thirty. Son of a bitch! You know that has got. I've got to say that has got to be rough for you. Because, yeah, no kidding. Because when did you usually work? Nights. Nights. Sometimes the last show goes on at midnight, right? Right, you get home at two, two. You, you finish working at yeah, like yeah, two. Yeah. You get home at like three. Yeah. 
Who goes to uh, who goes to work at that at, at five in the morning? Only people who don't, who have legitimate jobs. Okay, right. You know, right. And um, I, you know, I, I, I that's got to be a, a bit of a shock to you, a shock to your system. Sure. I mean, even when you weren't working comedy, you're probably staying up till two in the morning or something like that. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't go to sleep before two o'clock in the morning, you know. I, and when I had to do a morning show, how out of out of character was that for me? Well, how about us, the comics? We'd be working all night. We yes. do this show in the morning. Sometimes you wouldn't even go to sleep. You'd just come down to the show. Yeah, there were those times. There were those times. Yeah. There, there were substances involved, though. Uh, you know something? It's funny. But I never stopped to think about it back then. Hey, all these guys are coming in to do the show, and they, they were up till, you know. Right, 3, 4 in the morning. 3, 4 in the morning, because they didn't get off work till 2. So, you know, I mean, I never. One, I never one, one time I was doing your show, and I had to borrow somebody's car, and it was an automatic, and mine was a stick. So I was used to a stick, oh, okay. right? Yeah. And as I'm driving to do your show and I almost put myself through the windshield because I slammed on the brake thinking it was the clutch. Oh, God. Oh, I God. almost went through the windshield. Oh, boy. And th what people would do to do my show. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I never stopped to think about that. Um, but I used to, what I used to do is I used to sleep, catch a nap in the afternoon after the show. I'd catch a is nap. Right? like I'd sleep from like... Uh, one to three, I think it was, in the afternoon. And uh, that way I didn't have to get to bed till like 11 at night in order to right. get like about six hours sleep and then drive to the show. Right. So that was how I, how I did that. And so I, I kind of was able to survive with the morning clock on, you know. But the minute I didn't have a show any longer, they'd let me go or whatever, I wasn't working. Right. I didn't go to sleep till two in the morning. It was just, I went right back to my old schedule, you know? Uh, so I wonder if I would go, although when, when I have a day off, I tend to sleep in. When you have a day off? Yeah, I tend to sleep in. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Um, uh, it, uh, it, but that, it, in other words, if, if tonight, you didn't have to go to work tomorrow, let's say, you, would maybe, okay. you wouldn't go to sleep till like midnight, one o'clock, something like that? No, no, no. I'd probably still go to sleep around 10. Yeah. But I'd sleep until 10. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, really? I, yeah, I'd sleep. I'd, I'd crash out for the day. Are you sleeping longer hours these days? No. I am. I'm like, I, I used to be, I always used to have eight hours sleep. Used to have eight right. hours. Right. Now it's like coming out to nine hours. Is that right? Yeah. And you sleep through the night. Yeah, I think I'm practicing for death. Is what I think it is happening. <laughs> you know. Well, hey. that's what sleep is. Huh? It's a temporary, uh, te temporary death. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, eventually, when you die, it's uh, you. You just sleep in forever. Right. Yeah. That's got to be restful. <laughs> you know? But I don't want to get into that. I've been dealing with death lately, so you know. Have you? Oh yeah, you had that friend that passed away. Yeah. Yeah. It. it it, and I, it, it, it's affected me worse than I thought it would, you know. Uh, so I mean, you never I, know how it's going to hit you. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, but uh, yeah, it, it's very strange, very strange. When my mom, when my mom passed away, I didn't cry, and I cried like a year and a half later. I was same thing with my father. I didn't cry when my father died, but a year later. I suddenly, I, I said, I wonder what my father thinks about this. And I was going for the phone and realized my father's dead. And then I broke up. Right. Then I broke right. up. Yeah, that's, that's the way it happens. But you know what happened? Was your mother did, was your mother ill for a while? Yes. Well, you see, you were prepared for it. For instance, with my friend Shecky, I wasn't prepared for it because who thinks at 67 he's going to drop dead? Right. You know? I mean, it just comes out of a clear blue sky. And... And this is somebody you talk to once a week. Right. You know. I'm 67. You're 67. Okay, well, don't, I, please, I don't want to lose you, okay? No, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. 
And I'd say, now you're my best friend because I have no others now that my best friend is gone, but I don't want you to be my best friend because all my best friends die. Well, I don't want to die. Yeah, so don't be my best friend, okay? Okay, you got to be healthy. Uh, you know, oh, well, it looks like we're kind of running out of time here. I'm Is so, that right? sorry I wasted your time for 15 minutes earlier. But, That's all right. But, I'm just going to go take a nap. Really? You're tired? No, oh, yeah, I've been up since five. Oh, yeah, you worked at the, at the, uh, at the which one? Is Lowe's. That? Lowe's. I'm, yeah, because I have a friend who works at Home Depot, and then you work at Lowe's. So. Right. Yeah. Hey, listen. Good talking to you, my friend, and we'll see. Oh, good talking can to we, you. Can we do this again next week? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Steve Kravitz. Thanks, Steve. Bye, folks. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its eighth year of talk, like you've never heard it before. Well, hello there, folks. How are you? Good to see you again. Uh, uh, you know, we're here. Because we're here, because we're here, because we're here. Okay, anyway, let me see here. Let me, uh, I guess we should, we have, have one person here. One person here. The, Thursday's a strange night. We never can quite figure out whether people are going to call or not. And it's the one night that I'm beginning to think, maybe I should not do a show. <laughs> because it's like, you know, it's, it's just weird. We don't, uh, we don't get, uh, I'm trying to make my picture nice there. Um, yeah, because, I mean, people don't call on Thursday, so, and we have no idea why. First of all, let me, uh, let me go get this here, participants, and let me bring in the only person that's here tonight, and it's Alan, okay? Uh, and uh, here he comes, here he I think here he comes. There he is. There he is. Hey, Ox. Well, last Thursday, everybody came late. You had the most people in weeks. On Thursday? On a Thursday? Last Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I think a lot of people are going to want to call in because Trump got indicted a couple hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. That, that he did. So they're uh, going to want to call in and everybody bring out the champagne. Yeah, I don't know. I I really have my doubts as to what this is going to become, uh, what's going to happen of this. I think yep. the other charges against him are going to have a little more weight, a little more, a lot more weight. seriousness, yep. and so on. Yeah, yep. this is, uh, I don't know. Some well, people think that they're not going to get a conviction on this one. Yeah, that's a possibility. But the other well, stuff, yeah. Although, you know, it isn't just that, you know, that Trump blames the DA, but it was the grand jury, 23 people, they needed a majority, they got at least 12 that voted to indict, so. <laughs> out, of, out of how many? Out of 23 people, they got at least 12 because they need, you know, uh, more need... than 50%. Oh, so, yeah, but it could have been all of them. We don't could know. Have been all of we them. don't know. Right. We don't know. That's right, we don't know. But all we needed was 50%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, of cool. course, Trump's going off on the news, 20 minutes of rambling about how the Democrats and Biden are coming after him, and he didn't do anything wrong and all this other stuff. And they've been trying to get him since before he was president. And Well, he's claiming know. that they want to get him because he's running for president again. And and the fact of the matter is the only reason he's, he announced so early was to avoid charges. Yes, I truly or, or believe Or what he that. perceived to be a way of, of avoiding charges. I believe that, too. Yeah. Uh, listen, he may have well committed a crime here. It Probably, at the very least, it's a misdemeanor. Okay. I think they're going to charge him with a felony. You think so? Uh, yeah, for, for campaign finance stuff. You know, uh, it might be a little hard to prove, but, uh, and, and, you know, their star witness, Cohen, is, you know, not, not exactly the most credible witness. So they've got to have more than just him. Well, is he not a credible witness? You know, I mean, just because he did Trump's bidding, and that's what he wound up in jail for. Right. You know, he didn't wind up in jail for something he did for himself. Yeah. Right. That's right. So chances are very good that uh, that he he would be far more believable in court now 
than yep. he would have been if he was still in a Trump minion. Yep. You know. But okay. Weisselberg's willing to testify against him. You know, all these people where he was really stupid is he he expected loyalty from people, but he didn't give them any loyalty back. Yep. And so when the crap hit the fan, what did he do about it? Nothing. He didn't protect these people. He didn't try to defend these people. Uh, and it was horrible. It was just horrible. So he, if, if people are now testifying against him, it's because he had no loyalty towards them. So... That's and Trump, Trump trying to get money already from everybody campaigning, you know, and please donate for yeah, the witch hunt. Well, no, but your donations aren't going to go towards uh, the campaign. The, they don't. They're going they to go towards lawyers' fees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, let's face it, folks, let me talk to all you stupid MAGA people out there for a second. Here's a guy who wants your money. Want your money now because we have to fight this thing. Didn't I hear that he was a billionaire? Yeah. Why should you be sending him money? Shouldn't he be sending you money? You know. That's Phil. That's Phil. Yeah, well, Phil, Phil will defend this. He'll, he'll take that whole line, you know, that it's a... Nobody's out to get Trump. What they are is they're out to get justice. Yep. You know, and um, uh, they're not trying to, you know, they're not trying to, you know, get Trump. Uh, they just want to get justice and they want to have this thing looked at. It was, it was terrible what he did because he took these, this, to begin with, there was nothing wrong with him paying hush money to Stormy Daniels. But to then disguise that hush money as a campaign contribution or com campaign cost yep. is what is the big thing that's in question here. You and know, that's pay, not paying her not to keep her mouth shut. Whoever told a woman in a porno film to keep their mouth shut? I never heard of that before, but. But he calls her horse face too. I don't know why he says that. No, no. He's got a name for everybody. I would call her MAGA chest. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, he he had to come. He calls her horse face. Yeah, it wasn't calling her horse face when he was getting a blowjob from her. Mm. You know, maybe maybe he was saying whore's face. Maybe whore's face. <laughs> no, it was in print. It was horse face. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I mean it. Uh, I mean, we're all delighted to see that it this happened. But uh, it isn't it isn't the thing that's going to get him. What's going I think what the, what's going to get him is, are the uh, the documents. Yep. And I do think January sixth is going to get him too. I, I think so too. And Georgia, so the ask, Georgia the has a good for case. more votes. Hmm? The asking for more votes. Yeah. Georgia has a pretty good case. Yeah. You know. Yep. So I mean, those are the ones to look out for. I think the one thing that I like about this happening. And I said it before, is this emboldens all the other cases? In other words, maybe they won't be as lax to go ahead then now and be the next person who prosecutes. Well, the you federal know. judge is in the in the January 6th and the, and the documents is ordering Pence and Trump's lawyer to testify. Mm -hmm. And if they don't testify, they will arrest them. Well, they, 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 of course they'll arrest them. The good reason to arrest them is because... Uh, uh, they're supposed to show up if they're, you know, yep. subpoenaed. Well, this is, now they have to testify. But Trump is sending his lawyers in to try and make it so they can't appear. Now, let me say this again to all you Trump people, you MAGA people. Uh, why is he suddenly paying the legal expenses for all these people not to testify? If he doesn't have anything to hide, why doesn't he just let them testify? You know, what's wrong with Pence testifying and saying what went on the days before the January 6th? Uh, what's wrong with having Mark Meadows uh, testify? But why is he hiring lawyers to keep them from testifying? You don't do that unless you they've got something that could, That's right. could screw you up. You know. That's right. Yeah. So, you know. 
Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, everybody's cheering tonight, you know. Uh, I, I won't cheer until I see his mugshot or in cuffs. Well, you're going to see that. You know, he's going to have to come to New York. It, it, well, first of all, they've indicted him, but they haven't put out a, a, a thing for his arrest or whatever. Okay. Uh, once they do that, then he, he has to figure out whether he's going to appear in New York. If he doesn't, then he's going to have to be extradited from Florida. Mm-hmm. Well, I do you think that DeSantis is going to step in the way of New York from bringing uh, Trump to New York? I don't think so. You know. He already said he wouldn't assist. He wouldn't assist? Right. What do you mean? Wouldn't stop him from being No, he extradited. wouldn't help them try to extradite him. Well, he wouldn't help them, but he wouldn't stop them. Who knows? He, he has to. He has to approve it somehow. He ha- they have to go through him. Now, I can't so. figure out. There's something that happened. As you know, uh, DeSantis has been having this pissing match with Disney. Yeah. Uh, Disney has for the last how many years that Disney World has been there has been its own district run by Disney. It was the deal they made with the state of Florida. Hey, we're going to build this up. We want to be able to have control over it. And I think that's right. They spent how many billions of dollars to build Disney World, right? So they had the right to to be their own, um, uh, what can we call it, their own, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not city, but district. A district or dominion or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because they were also paying the cost for fire departments and Mm -hmm. all the infrastructure that it takes to to take care of an area like that. And uh, they they did that, and they built up the whole area, too. Universal Studios is now there, you know. And they all got the benefit of a lot of that. And uh, But now, um, DeSanta says no more. Uh, I think it was called Reedy something, Reedy Pines or something was the name of the district. And they've done away with it. But the thing is that Disney's done something, and I haven't been able to figure this one out completely, but they came up with a a, a, a deal uh, to um, make sure that DeSantis and his people couldn't get dominion over Disney World. Mm. Uh, because what they've done is make it impossible for them to use any of the Disney names or Disney products uh, in there. And um, so consequently, I don't know exactly what it is, but they said that this they what they've done is they've made it so that Florida can't take the thing over because they own the rights to names. and th- It was very confusing to me, but the bottom line was... It is into perpetuity as long as King Charles and his relatives, have you heard this? And his relatives are still alive. Mm. So that means that if, if, let's say Charles dies, but he dies, but then he, that isn't the last vestige of, of the family. I don't know why they chose that as the perpetuity, but they did. It's very strange. I tried to, I read it and, you know, I'm a little muddled in my brain lately, but in spite of the muddled brain, it was still very hard to understand what they had done, but they had pulled something off to screw over DeSantis and his people. So we'll see what happens. Hello, Phil. We hey. said his name Said his name three times, I think. Uh, no, 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 I... Uh... I saw that you had a skeleton crew, and oh. uh, it's a big oh, news oh, oh, night. Oh, so you took you took pity on us. Absolutely, you know. Uh, uh, not even here. I can leave. Bye. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, it was it was a tough uh, <laughs> tough day for Trump. We saw you got your bazooka in the background there. Oh, which which one is that? I don't know. Is it? You, before you put up your screen there, it was all your malicious stuff. Yeah, so. we saw all your junk already. Why you put up the screen now? Too late. Yeah. Too late. Uh, okay. Like you're getting ready to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, hey, Trump's, uh, you know, they're going to hook up Trump. 
So, uh, so we'll you see know, you on the news or what? Yeah, it's going to be uh, fighting in the street. Did, okay. did, did you get Did you get a, a donation email from him? Uh, I hadn't looked. I I shot a uh, an event tonight, so uh, it was kind of busy. But uh, a friend of mine is in the quarterfinals for um, the national uh, CrossFit championship. So I, I shot his uh, his workout. Hmm. How many did you get? Hmm. How many did you get? Eighteen hundred and fifty. I was motoring at uh, like uh, ten shots a second. <laughs> okay. You know, they they're doing pull ups. They're doing uh, uh, lifts, clean and jerks, things like that. And they're going as heavy and as hard as they can. Well, I imagine make this conversation boring. <laughs> well, I was talking about clean jerks. I mean, uh, you know, any any one of you. Well, could, uh, Trump is anything but a clean jerk. Well, you know, you're not you're innocent until proven guilty. And I think that uh, Alvin Bragg is uh, using this as. Uh, because of his hatred for Trump, this is purely political. And uh, okay, okay, you got the talking points from Fox. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, I watched Fox for about forty-five minutes to an hour, and they're all worked up. Who? Yeah. What's this? Did you watch Fox. Fox tonight? How are they reporting? Yeah, I, I watched this? them right right after. Uh, I was around. I was gonna. I was gonna go. Thirty hard time. I was gonna go turn over to to Fox to see what they were saying and how it they was were entertaining. It. The, the, the smoke was coming out of my TV. It was pretty funny. Well, I, I thought most of the uh, Fox people had turned on Trump. No, that's what I thought too. But it sure didn't look like it. They had Waters on there, and he was all worked up. And Brett was all worked up, and Perino oh. got on there, and she was all worked up. And, what about well, Tucker Carlson? I didn't see him. I got tired of it before that. Okay. Now, well, wait, wait, wait. Tony's oh. trying to say something. Yeah. Uh, this Tony? is off topic. Can I say one thing to Kevin? Dude, I didn't watch just Alex. I was at the Big Apple Comic Con getting some comic book signed. Everybody Jesse wants Wa to drag this thing into the ditch. Go no, ahead. You know why? What? You know why? That Jesse Waters' show was taping something for today. Was it on, Kevin? What? The yeah, it was yeah, on. They were doing it on Jesse Waters' crew was interviewing the guy who runs the show. I was right there getting autographed. Yeah, it was on. Oh, it was on. Okay, yeah, that's all. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, what the hell is this guy doing? He had all my comic book cards. Oh, sorry about that. Tony. Yeah. Oh, that's my teeth. <laughs> I paid six grand. They're still crooked. <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> no, but I Alex, here's, here's the problem I have with Trump, though. And I got to ask you this, Alex. This is how cheap the man is. Why did he use campaign money to pay her? How do you know he used campaign money? Because that's what it sounds like. Sounds like okay. Come on, do I mean this sounds stingy? Well, what he is. did, what he did is he took the hundred and thirty thousand and said it was a campaign donation. Yeah, yeah. I told you that, Phil. Yeah, which is 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 not considered right to do. Yeah, that's the taxpayer's money. That's they donated to him, and he's paying people off. That's what he's accused of doing. If that's, it's true, yeah. In the beginning, he had put up forty million when he was running in two thousand sixteen, and uh, all the money was coming from him, and he hadn't been reimbursed uh, for uh, uh, any expenses. Uh, yeah, right. Money. Yeah, I, we all believe that. That must have been on his tax return. We never saw. Yeah. Yeah, Phil, how do you know that for a fact? Well, Phil, he I was. Wait a minute. Return. He, 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 it wasn't the, he wasn't just spending <laughs> yeah, his money. Work. He was raising funds to run for president. Initially, I think when he was doing the primaries and so on, yes, it was kind of coming out of his pocket because not right. enough people wanted to give him money to be president. But once he won the nomination, the money kept came pouring in. He didn't. I gave him money. I gave him money for again. The nomination. Why do you give money to a billionaire? He's got money to burn. I How stupid! Yeah. How I stupid are you? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How stupid are you to give money, money to a billionaire? <laughs> exactly. I gave money to Perot. That wasn't a bad guy, Perot. But another, another billionaire. Right. Sometimes he loves another giving billionaires um, lots of money. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's really, really stupid. You gotta give him credit. He gives money to all the losers. Yeah, yeah. 
Gun Lewis has got to come in. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, you had Trump saying, vote for me. I'm a billionaire. Uh, I, I'm good with money. And then he said, by the way, send me your dollars. I don't know. I mean, what any deal did. happened wrong. Hey, Tony. Yeah. The first three years of Trump, what did you think of him? Well, I'm not going to lie. My stock portfolio was flying. <laughs> it was going. And what on. else? Had nothing to do with him. Right? No wars. We were, we were, get us involved in any wars. We're at my the brink of nuclear. Things were going okay, really. We're at the <laughs> brink of nuclear <laughs> war right now. No, we got inflation in the room. We got interest rates that have uh, tripled. By the way, inflation is uh, is pretty well leveled now. Yeah, leveled. It, it's yeah. also it's also worldwide. Phil never hears that. And part. how much of that was caused by Trump, and Most, by 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 his but, and, and by it, by things that he did while he was in office. The and now they've come the home. First. And now they've come home to roost. I didn't yes. he give millionaires all kinds of money? Yes. Uh, he gave everybody person. all kinds no, of money. No, he gave the billionaires are the ones who... I didn't see a penny, okay? Yeah. I didn't see a penny. Yeah, well, if any of you guys were honest, I'm sure that you <laughs> saw plenty uh, because of Trump. Uh, did, did Can anybody... And, you know, you were that? paying under $2 a gallon for gas in most <laughs> of the country. What? what, 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 yeah, what again, what, he doesn't, the president doesn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, he had everything to do with it because his policies allowed what po uh, which policy in particular which policy in particular e allowing exploration of uh no and, that had and, nothing to do with it well and and removing all of these onerous uh restrictions this had nothing to do with it uh, that's what you say no what okay. it had to do with was the fact that there were external situations in saudi arabia and in russia uh which had caused the gas crisis to exist uh, we have less of a gas crisis here than they do in a lot of other countries. Well, we always have, but our gas has has now gone up. I mean, you can sit there yeah. in any, no, you're any sitting argument. There, you're, you're bloviating, look, Phil. You just, any you, you argument just, I make, Alex, you say it has nothing to do with it. I mean, you know, what kind of answer is that? Oh, you got to breathe air. No, that's got nothing to you do know, with it. We could start going through the policies of Trump and some of the things he issued, the uh, dictums he he put out yeah. that today have caused come back to roost uh, causes lots of problems you know i mean uh -huh. his his uh I, it's just it's too much to go into but i mean there were a lot right. of things he did which are now coming home to roost you just well, you know a you lot of guys... a lot of problems like the ones you're talking about are not necessarily created by the person who's currently in office but by the person who was in office yeah. Like FDR. What? Like Franklin Delano How Roosevelt. many years ago was that, Phil? Well, it was created before Trump was in office. What? Uh, all, all of this welfare and, and stuff like that. Welfare? Oh, it's welfare. Yeah. It got us out of a, out of a, out of a depression. We would have gotten out of the depression anyway. No, because we were, no, we, we had a world war. We had a world war, and the rest of the world had nothing. They were blown apart. They had to buy their stuff from us. So you say we went to war for money? I oh yeah, we go. We always go to war for money. Oh, and you're oh. proud of that? No. I, why do you think they fought the Vietnam War? Phil, you're all over the place. Yes. Uh, oh, well, uh, hey, you say you, they go to war for money. You bet they go to war for money. That's that's why we're in Afghanistan. Do you notice how, by the way, he is like he is like changed the whole subject matter on well, this program? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. You, we, you, you came on here because we were talking about Trump and about yeah. the indictment that looks like it is looming, and yeah. you managed to then take yeah. everything we were talking about and shift it over to an entirely different area. I guess I'm good. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you asked me a question. Uh, you know somebody has his hand up? Uh, somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess he's somebody. He's he Yes. So, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm just I'm not going to attack Trump or Biden. What I'm going to say, Phil, <clears throat> economics 101, okay? The, and Tony, the reason the stock market is dropping Okay. Well, yeah. is, is because the Fed is raising interest rates because of inflation's out of control. Not here, but around the world, too. So once the Fed stops raising rates, if you don't sell anything, 
you will make money or your, the market will go back up. The other thing is the president has no control over this president that's in office now or Trump or any president over other countries being in, in recessionary times. We're in recessionary times close to it, you know, but Trump didn't have anything to do with it and Biden didn't have anything to do with it. It was better when, he, when Trump was in office. That was just coincidence and he took credit for it. Economics 101, Phil. And yeah. it could have well oh, been that the, that the economy was better as a result of processes that went on during the Obama administration. That's you right. always have to look to the previous administration to see where the faults are and the positives are. So you're mm -hmm. saying that any progress? Oh, I think I Obama think I think Trump was definitely Trump was definitely benefited by the by the the uh, the uh, Obama, Obama administration oh, and by their under policies. Under Obama, we had a, a GMP that that rose like one percent a year, uh, whereas under Trump we had four percent. You know, and and higher. Oh, okay, uh, I agree with you. Trump was wonderful. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Trump. Trump's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. See, I'll take your figures for granted, <laughs> Phil, but you're usually wrong. So I should tell everybody that uh, he's usually in, wrong. In the case of uh, the economy under Obama, it was uh, it, it was hey, not even chugging. Obama kept it kept this country from going into a depression. Yep. Okay, when they had when you had that fallout of the of the economy on, that didn't Trump. happen because of him, it happened because of Bush. Trump even said that yeah, too. Bush uh, Bush had some stimulus. He had given uh, about half of it, and Obama used the other half, cash for clunkers and a, and a, and a bunch well, of. I bailed out the car though. And he, what he did was yeah. he bailed out uh, companies that were too big to fail. And maybe they should have. Yeah, but uh, well, maybe they should have. And then when you want to see what, what happened to your stocks and you want to see what would happen to your uh, to your uh, income, yeah, forget it, Phil. Forget it. Somebody he even did Trump even Trump blamed George W. Bush for a lot of the mess. Probably. He did. He got us, he got oh, us in. Uh, there's everybody. no question about about the fact that Obama was handed a mess. Yep. Absolute mess. George W. Bush got us into Iraq. And uh, by doing that, he uh, sold a bill of goods to the people, and he said that the war was going to cost a certain amount. Now, I've got a friend that I grew up with, uh, Larry Lindsay. Uh, he's a Harvard economist, and uh, he, was, uh, he, was Bush, he was Bush's senior economic advisor. And uh, he had to resign because he told Bush that the war was actually going to cost three times more than what uh, Bush had said it would. And because he went against what Bush said, he and... Again, Summers, we're not even talking about the news of the day. You're, you've Bush taken us on. down into a ditch from oh, which we're okay. having a hard what, time climbing out of, of the it day? The man's been indicted. He hasn't He's been convicted yet. proven yeah. guilty. That's right. He hasn't been proven guilty. He hasn't been. He hasn't been, you know, anything. He's just been indicted. Just for just for grins, by a show of hands, how many people here believe uh, that uh, Trump is guilty? Can you call it a kangaroo court? <laughs> you have to admit he is. I think even Phil knows he's guilty. No, Where, no. where's your pouch? No, it's 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 uh, it's Trump that calls it a kangaroo court, and then some, well, sometimes he calls it a witch hunt. Uh, you, know, you know, and it is. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. He didn't do anything wrong. No, nah, you know, he paid for a hooker. Wait, what's the difference? He used their money, Phil. He should have just paid it himself like I told you. You know, they got to prove that he used that money. How do you? How do you okay, know let me ask you why All he got had... to do is watch TV. He admitted that he that he bought, bought uh, time with her. Why yeah. he had really? what's what, why he had what's his name Cohen? Why had Cohen pay it out of his own pocket? <laughs> why did he have him do that? Why didn't he just pay it? But well, no, he had wait a minute. He had Cohn pay it. He had Cohn pay it, and then he reimbursed Cohn so that well, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't show up on this it wouldn't show up on the same tab. So obviously he was doing some chicanery there. Maybe no, not maybe. It's obvious. Oh, okay, so let's burn him at the stake. No trial. No, we, we know for sure that he had 
uh, had Cohen pay off the 130000 and then he reimbursed Cohn out of where? Where, Phil? Cohn where, says, Phil? Where did he? I'm asking you a question. Where did he reimburse Cohn uh, out of? His, his monthly stipend. No. Hey, hey, hey Phil, <laughs> I'm asking you a question. I don't answers. know where because Cohen's. Well, Cohen can says, somebody else? Wait, wait, can somebody answer that question here He's for the me? The fixer. We know where it came from. Fixer. Oh, oh, I'm sure you do. Cohen said that he was never reimbursed. <laughs> So I, if he wasn't reimbursed, I, no, I think I think Trump, he did say he was reimbursed, didn't he, guys? I don't know, but I didn't think that in his testimony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Brian, you said yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The bottom line is they've been doing this for how long? A month, two months, three months? They've been grand jury has been behind closed doors trying to figure this out. You don't think that they've done their homework and figured this out? They just. Or they just willy nilly come well, out and said, "Okay, we're going to indict him." And by the way, the by the way, you say you say that Bragg wants to get him. The fact yes. of the matter is that that isn't the person who's indicting him. It's twenty four people. Correct. The, when he's, Vance, he's the group, previous to Bragg, it was Vance, and Vance said that there was no crime. No, and he no, he didn't say that. He did not say that, Phil. No, he didn't. Uh, Would you and, care to tell also, us exactly what he said, Phil? If anything, Phil, this was a you, listen to me. Would you care to tell us what Bra what what uh, he Vance. said? Vance, Vance said. said? Mm -hmm. what, I, I don't know the oh, verbatim. Oh well, now. Oh, okay. Did you Makes look it up for him? Yeah. What he well, said was, up. is he was, didn't want to do anything about it because he didn't feel they had enough information yet to indict. That's, That's all right. he said. He That's didn't right. say he wasn't that he was leaving or that he wasn't going to do it because there was no evidence that Trump did it. He just felt that there was not a strong enough case yet at that point. Although mm -hmm. no, don't uh, uh, no all those. That's the answer. Look, That's the reason he did the it. The only Phil. witness. That uh, that Bragg has is is Cohen. No, you don't Cohen's know that. attorney. No, no he's, got know that. he's got Weiselberg. He's got Weiselberg. He's got the speaking. guy. He's got the guy from the National Enquirer. He got a lot of people. Well, he, uh, Cohen was got, the one that he was bracing. It's, fun, uh, it's funny that this case may end with the guy who owns the National Enquirer, Pecker, and it started with a Pecker. So you know. <laughs> That's his name. I'm you don't know. His name you is don't Pecker. know. Yeah. Because, you know because, because the grand jury Pecker. is secret. You don't know what <laughs> evidence they have, and you don't either. I don't. I'll I, admit it. And I, so you don't jump to conclusions saying that Cohen is the only person they're going by. That's the news that I heard. Well, that's what you heard. But the fact is, that Cohen isn't the only one that was in there. Weisselberg right. was it's in there. Not just one count. It's thirty-four counts or thirty counts or something like that. Thirty. <laughs> I didn't yep. know Democrats could count that high. <laughs> well, they can count higher. Than that. See, he always tries to divert discussing it hey. by trying to tell a joke. Is that such a terrible thing? Yes, when you tell a joke. None of your jokes are. <laughs> what if the I, panel agrees on Phil's jokes. All right. Hey, you know, uh, 30, 30 million flies can't be wrong about shit either. Yeah. Well, I just got demonetized for tonight. So. Oh. <laughs> Why? Because you let Phil on? Yeah. 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 Um, but I get you special dispensation. You know, it's it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's sad. It's really sad that we had a president that was so corrupt. I mean, he was so he had no love for the democracy. He had no love for. The, what this country represented, that he was just, he was ready to become a dictator if he had the chance. He would be a Mussolini in, in our time. He's been that way all, through, all and his life through business. What? He's been that way all his life through business. He's cheated yeah, but, everybody in business. And that's fine. Go cheat those people. But don't cheat the American public when you're president. Yeah, that is not right. your personal bank book. It is not your personal protection. It is something that you take seriously, and it's been given to you to, to, to take care of this country and to guard this country and to safeguard the people who live in it. And he didn't do any of that because and all he is is just a selfish prick. On well, top of it, do it under the guise of on. America. <laughs> but I did pay for Stormy Daniels. Uh, you did. You probably did for that, Jack. <laughs> 
Oh, that little pen they sent you. <laughs> that went. That was the thank you. Didn't, didn't you tell me that you sent Trump ten dollars towards the Stormy Daniels fund? Uh, actually, uh, he could spend it any way he wanted. But uh, if 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 this is the case, then uh, you know Stormy ought to give me a little bit. Stormy, <laughs> she give me a little bit. <laughs> thank you for. This is one of our top. Well, Stormy is <laughs> you. You act like Stormy is a prostitute. And she, she took and, 130000 to keep her mouth shut. Well, the, you don't pay a prostitute to keep their mouth shut. Uh, well, uh, maybe. No. Mm -mm. You know, so, I mean, I just, uh, you know, it, 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 she's not a prostitute. She is a, she is a sex worker, but she is a sex worker of a certain type. And uh, please treat her with a certain amount of respect. Oh. Uh, Sure. Okay. Why? Why don't? Wait a minute. Why don't you want to treat her with respect? Because yeah. she's. Because screws. I think that what uh, these types of sex workers do is demeaning to women. And, oh, I uh, see. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, you're becoming Mister. Uh, 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 I'm standing up for women's rights. Is that it? Yeah. 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 And how many porn Ooh. films have you jerked off to? Uh, Thousands. <laughs> Hey, yeah. so, don't, don't, so, don't, so don't tell me it's demeaning to cartoon? women. Actually, it's not demeaning to women. Fortunately, in spite of the fact of what the work is, it makes a woman yeah. not dependent upon men. Okay, That's she true. has her own financial. Yeah. She has her yeah. own financial security, and she did it herself. And it's her money, and it's not at the not not to to uh, benefit some guy somewhere. She had to sell herself. To, to benefit. No, she didn't sell herself. No. I wonder how she does that. You don't understand yeah. what being in porn is, Phil. You have no concept well, I, I of it. I can tell you this. I've never been in a porn movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, you got to have more than two inches. Thank otherwise, God. they're not and in I, oh. And I have, and you'll never find out which one it is, okay? Yeah. Well, uh, I've seen you interview on uh, Midnight Blue. Interview? What's interview the yeah you did i saw the sexorama uh you made a copy of it on vhs sexorama yeah it was the one with the girl that took uh, like a hundred hundred guys no 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 that that, 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 that i think it was a plato's retreat it was something i Susan was, was in that one too yeah it was something it wasn't i wasn't in that it wasn't a matter of it, or the her being in that we were reporting a situation right yeah, you we were, were in the movie no we were covering a situation film. that was on midnight blue which right. was a magazine program. Yeah. Yeah. And you were interviewing. Yes. Yeah. So that is not a movie. Well, it, it was the same, you know, it was a. Uh, it wasn't a whether, movie, Phil. Let's go back to Trump. It's What's the difference if it's on videotape on Midnight Blue or if it's in no, a thing? No, it's the nature it, of what was being done. Everything. We were covering a situation. Yeah. We weren't creating a situation. I understand. Okay. But you were part of it. No, I wasn't. I was do. I was shooting it, and I was. We were interviewing people. Yeah, just okay. like I'm interviewing you right now. Well, you have your clothes the condom. <laughs> you want me to take my clothes off while I'm <laughs> doing it? <laughs> <laughs> You'll all be disgusted. Don't scare me. Yeah. They get They'll definitely get demonetized. Yeah. Well, I, Ryan, what I do you think of all work. of what we're saying uh -oh. tonight? You've been very <laughs> quiet because the minute Phil comes on, you shut down. Oh, yeah. Who's that, Brian? Yes. <laughs> no, I just say that I, I don't. All this, just waiting for him to be in cuffs. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But who, just who, Phil? Phil or Trump? Trump. Uh, I, I would like a picture <laughs> of him, uh, you know, at the mug shot. I mean, well, they, you, they, you, they say the New York, they don't make those public, but because he's already a public figure, they may. Yeah. Someone's yeah. going to sneak it out. You know how much that's going to be worth oh, if they don't? Man, yeah. And just think when they when he takes his first shower and his, you know, his, the person who wraps his hair yeah. like a yeah. turban, yeah. That when that person's not in prison with them, how's he going to look? Here's, well, the, here's, here's the question, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm jumping ahead on this thing, but if he goes to jail or to prison, does his Secret Service have to go with him? I hope not. Who would have caught him in jail? I wonder if they well, get all the time. you know, I think they would have to go with <laughs> him and guard do, him yeah. in jail. You they're know, today. well, then he'll have protection. 
Yeah, but still, it never happened, so we don't know. Yeah, right? but but if you're if you're a, a, a Secret it, Service right? person and you're his, on his detail, aren't you being incarcerated with him? And you didn't do anything wrong. Aren't you? Unless they put well, him they, in the they, no. they would go in and out. But aren't aren't you uh, ashamed that this country is now treating its past leaders like Pol Pot and other people treated uh, theirs? What past leader? Wait a yeah, minute. What did he wait, lead? A minute. wait a minute. To begin with, what, uh, what was what was wrong with the way Pol Pot was handled? Did he, he was kill a, him? He was a murderer. He, his, he uh, was a past. he was a cold blooded murderer, Phil. Right. You never heard of the Killing Fields? Yes, that's what I'm that's Pol Pot. Pot. That was him. right. Somebody should have put a bullet in his head a field? long time before that. And you look at uh, uh, Venezuela and uh, these other countries. What happens to the past leaders of all of these countries? That's not what America is. Well, but it is in, in one case, Allende, who was the leader in, uh, uh, where was it? Was it Venezuela? Am I, am I thinking correctly with Pol Pot? Chile? Uh, not Pol Pot. Chile? Yeah, yeah, right. Chile. Allende, um, uh, he, was, uh, he was killed by the CIA. What do you have yeah. to say about that, Phil? I have uh, which 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 government was the CIA working for at the time? Was it a Democratic president or a uh, uh, was it Bush or was it uh, Bush? I think uh, it Bush was a Republican, if I'm not mistaken. And was the fact Bush was that Allende was a, a a communist, but he was a Democratic communist. Have you heard of such a thing? There is Never. such a thing. There is such a thing. Absolutely, because. Communism is an economic form, and a d democracy oh, is the relationship of a government to its people. Uh, you, and you can have a communistic, uh, and the, the reason why they went and got Allende is because it was starting to thrive down there. And they didn't want, America did not want the world to see a country in which a communistic democracy was working. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know that it was working. Well, no, it it was working, and he was killed by the CIA and by CIA operatives. Yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Alan. Alan, it's okay. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> what I want to know, Phil's not listening right now. So, I'm asking you, just Siri, what you're there? Oh, sorry. Um, so if Trump, Johnson, if, if Obama was don't doing worry, he won't that, find Allende when he looks it up because he doesn't know how to spell it. Go ahead. That's right. Anyway, I, if if Obama was doing such a bad job, why did Trump give to his first and second campaign? Why, if Ob he gave to everybody's campaign? No, he gave, he gave to to Biden's. I mean Obama's because he was a Democrat at that. He time. gave it to Hillary too. Well, but, she was a Democrat too. But he gave to everybody's campaign. Remember what they said: keep your friends, uh, <coughs> enemies close. Uh, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies close. Yeah, well, I think I think probably quoting the Godfather <laughs> is appropriate where Trump is concerned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are we all looking up? Are we just uh, doing oh, our homework? to find out who the president was. Uh, hopefully, when they I, don't they shoot killed. Trump in the street like and, they did with the and Godfather. Siri, Siri told me Lyndon Johnson, but that's wrong. Oh, yeah, that could be right. Yeah. Echo, who Prince was Charles president was, uh, when Allende was killed? Nixon? President of the United States. From History.com, Vice President Theodore Roosevelt was immediately sworn in. No, country. not Theodore <laughs> Roosevelt. <laughs> another no, no. AI so, is working. So much for AI. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. No, but uh, uh, maybe ask it who was the president those. of the United States. Yeah, who was president of the United States at the time uh, Iendi was killed? It was Nixon. Was it Nixon? I think, believe so. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think right. so. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nixon was a Democrat, wasn't he? Again, Phil, Phil dr yes. drives us off the road because we spent the last five minutes trying to find the answer to that question. Because he was sure it had to be a Democrat. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just checking my pictures. Have they downloaded yet? Downloaded what? What, like picture? what pictures? 
uh, the eighteen hundred and fifty pictures I took. Oh, jeez! Uh, oh, I mean, earlier today. Do you think we care whether your pictures were downloaded or not? Well, uh, I know, Kevin. You nodded your head. You're you're getting frustrated here, aren't you? <laughs> he just I'm nodded. Muted. What? I'm muted. You're muted. Yeah, yeah. It's very frustrating to me. So you can't hear me yell. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I saved the day. Oh, oh look, who, look who's there! Look who's there! Behave, Phil. Come here, come here, come here! Say hello. We haven't said hello for all. How you doing, Hi. kiddo? How you doing? Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you've been on the show for a couple minutes, ask Daddy for twenty dollars. <laughs> No. <laughs> now, now I'm in trouble. Uncle Alan's very rich. Yeah, I'll, I'll give me your address. I'll send her twenty dollars. <laughs> you want twenty dollars from uh, from Alan, Adrian? I'll send you twenty dollars. Be, be careful. You might wind up in front of a grand jury. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's getting indicted, Adrian? Alan. <laughs> tell him yeah tell him tell donald him. trump she said donald trump she's so listening to cnn in the car and she goes what's going on i remember when i was growing up my father just absolutely hated nixon mm -hmm. just hated him funny most of the country did too well you know he did a lot of things previous to becoming president that were just absolutely abominable. There was a there was an actress by the name of Helen Gahagan Douglas who ran for senator and he inferred that she was a communist. You know, he did that kind of red baiting and she lost the election as a result of it. And um, he hated her for that, just absolutely hated her for that. He felt that was so not decent Okay, and uh, so I, um, I uh, often thought that uh, Nixon's first name was that dam, because any time he would ever refer to him, he would refer to him as that damn Nixon. He taught me to hate Nixon at a very young age, and I grew up to continue to hate him. And the fact was that Nixon was a terrible, terrible person. Uh, his entire career had been just winning races by lying and by inferring that people were communists and so on and so forth. It was just disgusting, just disgusting. But you know something? He's not as bad, wasn't as bad a president as Trump. Nobody was. Well, you know, it's kind of like I that. said, you know, uh, look at Trump. Now uh, 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 Bush isn't looking so bad to you, is he? And by no. the way, neither is Daddy Bush. And as a matter of fact, neither is Ronald Reagan. Come to think of it, Adolf Hitler doesn't seem quite so bad. Right. Yeah. Adolf Hitler mainly went after the Jews. Trump went after the Americans. Trump was good for the Jews. Was he? You know? He kept his promises. He moved the uh, embassy to Jerusalem. You ought to watch Fox News a little bit more. Last was night for, I was uh, watching it, and Trump was, was running his mouth about anti-Jew stuff. He was. Uh, what, 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 what was he running his mouth about? He was. He was saying that the Jews are 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 a lot of the problems in this country, and they're funding along with Soros this DA in New York. They are. Well, there you go. So, so, so is, it, is this the guy? Is this the guy who loves Jews, uh, Phil? It doesn't yeah. sound like it. Well, he loves Israel. He's getting uh, to sound more like Kanye. Uh, he loves Israel. I mean, you know, he was for a one one state. Uh, oh, and that and that absolute dictator they got there right now. That you right. know, Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Yeah. Now, why? Uh, I understand he fired somebody. Why are they protesting? He didn't the guy? fire anybody. You know, okay. you know, you follow the news so loosely. Netanyahu. What do you think that they're de demonstrating over? Uh, he resigned. Oh, he resigned. No, he didn't. And he didn't. Why? He didn't resign. 
He didn't resign. The defense secretary there. Did. Oh, oh, the defense secretary. That's what I'm saying. I thought he, I thought he was no, fired. You said they fired him. No, but why, why, why do you think they're demonstrating against Netanyahu? Uh, I guess they didn't like the idea that this defense secretary was no, forced to no, resign. No, no, or was no. fired. No, no, no. Let's no. let Phil wave in the wind since he doesn't know anything. Well, you know, I watched the protests. I, well, you know, then what were they I, over? Really what were they flat. over? You Then you should have been able to know what they were about. Yeah, well, what, what did the signs say? They were Israeli flags. <laughs> yeah, well, they were carrying signs, too. I couldn't they see them. Their social <laughs> security, right? <laughs> well, you might like this one, Phil, because I imagine yeah. Trump would do it if he had the chance. Yeah, what's he that? tried to abolish the uh, Supreme Court. Oh, he wanted to Israel. change the Supreme Court. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Now you, now you know. So you okay. Think yeah. That, now you know. Now that I told you, you know. Well, there was there was something else uh, 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 about that. There was a reason, but uh, it's I don't the same remember. reason that Trump has it. He doesn't want anybody to uh, go against what he wants to do. And you mean if Biden packed the courts, that would be okay with you? If Biden packed the courts? Yeah. Well, I guess it would be equal justice because Trump packed the courts. Oh, so it's tit for tat. So it's 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 not okay for Netanyahu to do it, but it's okay for Biden because it's it's because Trump uh uh legally uh made the decisions. Netanyahu that, wanted to get rid of it. I, I don't so. think he wanted to get rid of the whole court. I think that there was something about what he wanted, he to, wanted do. to do was get rid of the whole court. That's right. And he, what he wanted up. really, what he really Trump wanted, would want to do that if he had a chance to. Was that he wanted his his office to be higher on the pecking order than the Supreme Court, so he could Correct. override any decision the Supreme Court might make. Correct. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Well, I wasn't as familiar with why the riots were going on, but. Uh, you yeah, made it sound it like over, you knew about it. I thought it was it. over a firing. Uh, no, no. The no. guy wasn't even fired. He quit. Well, I, you know, you know, usually when somebody quits, Phil, would you have demonstrated? Cold, would you, or you fired? If you were in Israel, would you be demonstrating over that? Uh, I don't know enough about it to, oh, to make a decision. Oh, now you it. don't know enough about it. No, oh, well, I, I couldn't even remember what the guy's position was that got fired or quit. No, that's Alex, not the point. The point is that there was yeah. a control over the judiciary that they have. Would you have d demonstrated that? Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know how their structure works. Well, it doesn't matter if there was if, if if the if the president per se would have control over the Supreme Court of their government. Would you d demonstrate on that? In other if words, it works not, like our government. Would you demonstrate where, yes where, or no? Uh, if it works there, like our government does, where there's three equal arms, yes, I would demonstrate. But I don't know how the Israeli government works when it comes to uh, the judiciary. Well, it's, and, it's pretty and, much like, similar. It's pretty the, much the same as ours. There's the Knesset, there's the uh, the judiciary, and then there's the president. You know, the well, they, I don't think they call him the president over there, but the uh, prime minister over there. Right. So, so the supreme what, ruler. what he wanted to do was to make his word the final word rather than the supreme court so I, that he I could just he could just cancel anything the supreme court decided was uh, was right i i wouldn't go for that although they do need a strong leader there because of you know the enemies that are surrounding them no you don't need a strong leader you need a reasonable re leader right which is what and trump netanyahu would is not that. reasonable oh. trump would love to do that here Trump would love to do that here. Exactly. Correct. He's already talked about it. Right. He's talked about he wants to reform the Supreme Court. He wants to reform the judicial system. Well, he did by appointing uh, conservative justices that were pro the Constitution and rather than in pro the Constitution. The, I don't know that Trump. They're, they're pro Trump. They're not pro the Constitution. Oh, I don't think that the because three how many times didn't they? Uh, didn't they uh, uh, rule against him a couple of times? Yes, the no three justices that? he appointed all ruled against him on the uh, voting thing. And, and he got a little bit upset, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But and he wanted to boot him out, is, didn't he? The thing is, okay. he didn't pack the court. He put in really good justices that made decisions 
based on the law. Oh, yeah, some really I'm morally gonna... wonderful people. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, I agree with you. Uh, Trump did wonderful things when he was in office. Absolutely God, wonderful. I wish he were back again. Oh, this is, you know. I know, Tony does. <laughs> well, Tony yeah, doesn't feel that Tony. way. Tony's Tony doesn't feel that does. way about him now. Well, Tony felt that way about him this afternoon. Oh, I didn't say anything that crazy. Though. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got it on tape, Tony. <laughs> Go ahead and play it. Wait, wait, what did you? What did you? What did you say? Control. What did you say to Phil earlier We're today? We talking about guns today, really. That's what I was talking to him about. Yeah, and what'd you say? I think. Well, I was saying about guns. I don't think it's so much as the guns. I think it's bad parenting, and the, they're not handling these kids. I think that's what I was saying, pretty much. Because we didn't have gun problems in the eighties when I was in school. Remember I was telling you that. No, it's the, like mafia, it's the mafia took care of the gun problems in the eighties. Uh, come on, Tony. A, a, a little more, you know. Pull the, <laughs> give it, give it up. No, but I was basically saying. You see, Phil yesterday refused to believe that there were 130 mass shootings since January 1st of this year. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You said you said to me, "Oh, that you mean going back to when we started taking statistics uh, uh, on mass." Shooting. No, I, I said what I, I said. I, I heard that they might have said that that was since Columbine. But you asked me how many years. Well, that's here. going back an awfully long. How right. long ago and was I said, Columbine? I said it was between 100 and 175. But you thought it was going back to Columbine. It started well, Columbine. It was 130 something. mass shootings since the first of this year. January. January. Three months. Yeah. Yeah. How many how many uh, mass uh, how many mass shootings did we have a year back 20 30 years ago? We never had any of this. We didn't Monday. have very many. Maybe it's because of the divisiveness. Oh, and maybe maybe it's be, maybe maybe it's because of the, the the amount of guns. See, you're putting Adrian to sleep. We had more guns. We had just as many guns. <laughs> I love it. I love it when Phil talks to you like this. Hey, we had more guns 20 years ago. I think you it's know, bad parenting. It was a moratorium. Yeah, I on, uh, it's not just bad parenting. You can't blame it on just bad oh, parenting. We never had school shootings, though. Can anybody explain why you never had a school shooting then? It's Trump's it's, fault. It's all the drugs that they put these kids on. I mean, that's, that's it's just, the way they treat mental illness. You blame I everything you, else but the gun. No, how do you know? What's your proof? Uh, blame I everything proof. else but the guns, Phil. Blame huh? everything else but the guns and the easy availability of guns. What was your, like, was do you know? Do you know available. now? Down in Florida, you just can you, go you in know. and get a gun. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to sign anything to get one. Yeah. Do you know that you could order it from the Sears catalog twenty yeah. years ago or twenty five years ago? You can go in and buy a gun uh, and have it mailed to your house. And, you know, I mean, all you had to do is pick up the Sears catalog. Well, now, uh, now all in Texas, all you got to do is walk into the local store and, and pick the gun and take true. it home with you. Only if you have a permit to carry. If you don't have a permit to carry, <laughs> then you have to answer the permit. <laughs> they can walk right in and buy a gun. Oh, wait a minute, Adrian. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Adrian. Bill's going to put those fake teeth in him. <laughs> It's this is boring, isn't it, Adrian? Well, <laughs> only when Phil's on, right? Yep. Anyway, hey, he, listen. If he earned that twenty dollars, I'll send it to you, Brian. Okay. Yeah. And, hey, I love this. Her thing. Teeth like this. That's my teeth. He wants me to do a bridge, fellow. Right? Hey, you know, Adrian. <laughs> men never make passes at girls who wear glasses. Oh, it's the library. Are those look. your glasses, uh, Brian? Uh, those are for work. Yeah, those are for those cleaner. are for work. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't bog up. So anyway, they're not the hot librarian look. No. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alan. We appreciate you tonight being here. Uh, also to Kevin and also to Brian and also to Tony. And uh, should we thank Phil? Thank yeah, Trump. Huh? <laughs> thank Trump. Uh, uh, thank Trump. Yeah. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. There's our uh, 
There's our citizen panel We're for tonight. We're going to make America great again. We're not going to vote Trump in. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, uh, the ramble. Uh, uh, Jack is next. He's going to be here with his little get-together called The Intersection. He'll be taking your calls at Skype at uh, GabNet Live. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Good night, everybody. Good night.